Big development. The former Concordia University campus in Northeast Portland may soon become part of the University of Oregon. U of O announcing today it plans to buy the property to use as a base for a new children's behavioral health program, a program that would partner with Portland Public Schools. Lisa Balick, live in Northeast Portland, with more on this. This is huge news, Lisa. Yeah, it is big news, even especially for this residential neighborhood right now. Now, it's interesting. Concordia shut down about two years ago, last Feb, you know, two Februarys ago. And what's happening is that the U of O has gotten a donation of $425 million to buy the property here and help people learn how to help kids in crisis. The former Concordia University campus closed down due to financial problems. Neighbors worried it would be torn down, replaced with apartments or condos. Instead, it's about to become part of the University of Oregon. A $425 million gift from Oregon alum Connie Balmer and her husband Steve, the former CEO of Microsoft, will help bring the campus back to life with a new purpose. The Balmer Institute for Children's Behavioral Health will have a bachelor's degree program and mid-career certificate programs. Seeing this come together creates some real goodness to me. I talked with the head of behavioral health for Multnomah County. She's a former Concordia social work professor and former dean there of the College of Health and Human Sciences. We need people who are prepared to enter into this space. And one of the things that we have learned, especially through the pandemic, mm -hmm. as children and families are dealing with greater and greater needs, our workforce hasn't always been well prepared to deal with that. Um, and we have a tremendous workforce shortage. U of O says it will partner with Fabian pre-K through eight next to campus, then with other schools around the state, working on intervention and treatment programs with a growing need to help students. The rampant gun violence, the houselessness, the economic insecurities. Quickly, more people from undergraduates to mid-career professionals will be trained to lend a hand. Most people think about, you know, do we just need therapy? Well, therapy is part of the continuum, but we need prevention. Now, we don't have a time frame for exactly when it would open. The UO right now is in the process of buying the property. Live in Northeast Portland, Lisa Balick, Point Six News.